What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 83, aka you know it already. And I'm back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombies gameplay for you guys. And this is on the map. Um, well, this is Grief on Cell Block. And I'm with my boys Linjoy, E Ross, and Quick Scope Your Face. And, um, you know, we won, obviously. <laughs> We're the best. You know, whoever's on my team, let's say we always win. There's you off with the ray gun. So basically, um, you know, I'm gonna get into the main event results first and then we'll talk about this. But basically the whole game, or most of the game, we were in here the whole time. The warden's office. You know, four of us, each of us watch a window. Well, three windows in the front. One person watch the front. And that's it. And we just, you know, time will come and then the other team will go down. That's it. Easy tactics. Stick together. Um, especially since there's no jug in this map. But that's not the point. Alright, so... <laughs> point of the matter is, got the main event results for April 29th, 2014, and the first match, Goldust versus Alberto Del Rio, and, you know, Alberto Del Rio beat Cody Rhodes, what was it, last night on Raw, and then Cody Rhodes just walked away from Goldust, he was pissed, so now Goldust gets his shot, so, match is going in, Del Rio tries to go for a super kick, Goldust grabs his leg, and then does his finish at the final cut. Oh, I will come back to more carnage into the fucking resurrection. All right. So Goldust does the final cut to the fucking resurrection, and then Goldust wins the match. After that, Renee Young interviews Goldust, and Renee Young even oh she is fucking hot. That's all I gotta say. So she uh, interviews Goldust and saying that you know you're both in singles competitions. What's going on? What's going on? So you know Goldust says that. You know, they'll always have each other's backs, and, you know, maybe it's time for him to go to separate ways. And then Cody Rose comes out and apologizes for what happened, and that the brotherhood is still intact. So they hug each other, and then that's it. So maybe they're back together, I don't know. And then, um, you know, we find out this Friday on SmackDown, uh, Dean Ambrose will defend the United States title against, who is it, Alberto Del Rio, Ryback, and uh, Curtis Axel, I think. So whoever pins, I'm assuming whoever pins Dean Ambrose, if that's possible, hopefully the Shield interferes, because if Dean Ambrose loses, I'm going to be pissed, because I'm, I'm a Shield fan. So if Dean Ambrose loses, that means that's it. Done. Whoever pins him becomes a new United States champion. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And then, um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be really bad. But, um, now, or actually, what the hell am I doing? I, I just said everything, well, alright. So that's when it was confirmed. Now, we're informed that the United States title will be defended in a fatal four-way match with those superstars I just mentioned. But, the Shield are banned. At ringside, so Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns will be banned at ringside. So that's fucked up. Heck though. But there's nothing I can do. So hopefully Dean Ambrose retains the United States title, and I'll be good. The next match is a rematch from a couple weeks ago. The, the Divas champion, my favorite Diva as of now, Paige. Because she's fucking hot and beautiful. And she's 21 years old like me, so that's good. Versus Lisa Fox. And, you know, Paige cannot be beat. That's all I gotta say. She is just fucking dominant. So match is going in. And um, Alicia tries to go for a suplex. But Paige reverses it into a DDT. Like, an, like a sick fucking DDT. Obviously it's in a fucking resurrection. And the Divas champion Paige wins the match. After that, you know, you know, she celebrates. And then after that, Tamina Snooker comes out. And they have a stare down. And then Tamina just leaves smiling. Then after that, we, we have a video package of Bri Wyatt. And John Cena last night, and I didn't mention, but the kids, all infinite kids came out, and a lot of them were wearing the sheep masks. And, you know, they were saying, he's got the whole world in his hands, and I was fucking disturbed. And I know Cena was disturbed too, but whatever. And then, after that, the next match, Kofi Kingston versus Bad News Barrett of the Barrett Barrage. And, of course, Bad News Barrett is the new number one contender. To face B. Lyson for the Intercontinental title at Extreme Rules. So, Mash is going in, and 
you know, Kofi Kingston going in, and then he jumps on Barrett, but Barrett just does the ball hammer to him in midair. Fucking sickening ball hammer to the fuck around the action, and Bad News Barrett wins the match. He had to have a video package of Kane's attack on Daniel Bryan, and Brie Bella, and then he was trying to steal, he was trying to kidnap Brie Bella, but didn't work. You know, and then after that main event, sorry, the main event, <laughs> is um, Sheamus versus Bry Wyatt. Of course, you know, Wyatt family at ringside. And, you know, Sheamus was going in. You know, he was trying to go for a broad kick on, um, well, first he did white noise to Bry Wyatt. And then, no, he tries to go for white noise, but Bry Wyatt gets out of it. And Sheamus tries to go for the broad kick on Luke Harper because Luke Harper was interfering. But Luke Harper gets out of the way. You know, he was on the apron, and then Brad Wyatt takes advantage, there's a sister Abigail, she's a fucking resurrection, hate to say it, and Brad Wyatt wins the match. After that, 3 one assault to Sheamus, and then after that, the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Ooh! So, it's the Sons of Rikishi come out, Jimmy and Jay Uso helping Sheamus, and that's it. So, that's the main event results for April 29th, 2014, and I was also informed on Facebook that another match confirmed for Extreme Rules this Sunday. It's going to be a triple threat match for no apparent reason, but you knew it was coming. Former Real American partners Jack Swagger and Tony Cesaro. So Jack Swagger versus Antonio Cesaro versus RVD. Because, you know, RVD, well, they interfered against RVD. So apparently, you know, in his finals match against Bad News Barrett. So apparently it's going to be a triple threat. Now, Antonio Cesaro already defeated Jack Swagger twice on SmackDown last week and now on Raw. So, and now you got RVD in the picture? I, I don't understand. Most likely, Antonio is going to win because he has to get that push. But then again, then again, we don't know. So, we will find out this Sunday. So, you know... It's going to be a lot of good fucking matches for Extreme Rules. And, you know, most likely on Friday. Maybe Saturday. Do the predictions. So, for now, we got Grief Gameplay on the map Cell Block. I'm going to repeat myself because I'm the best in the world. And with my boys, Quick Scope Your Face, Lynn Joy, and E. Ross. And we were camping the warden's office for basically the whole game. And my perks were just double tap and speed cola. There is no jug. So the only perks on this map is double tap, speed cola, deadshot daiquiri, meal kick, and PhD flopper. So there's five perks on this map. And, well, maybe I bought perks later on. I don't even know, to be honest. But, um, basically my guns were the Uzi. And I, I, I was trying to pack a punch the pistol. But it did not work. And then we can't... The fucking pack a punch. So if you want to be a dick, you camp the pack a punch. You and someone else, so no one can pack a punch except you two. <laughs> but you know, basically the tactic is when it's a four v four with no fucking jug, you stick together. I don't know how many times I need to repeat myself. Every time I play with fucking randoms, do you think that happens? Not in your damn fucking life. That's happening because it is not, and it never will. So, you gotta play with friends. Now, if you're cocky like me, and you know you can handle it by yourself, I don't know about the wardens often, that's pretty scary, but in general, in zombie survival, and if you think you can in grief, by all means, fucking play Buried then, or Burrow, because there's Jug there, you know? And there's no EMPs, like in farm and fucking town, where you can EMP Jug, and then, good luck, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, and then that's it. So, you know, basically, what was it? Linjo was watching the front, E Ross <laughs> was watching the back window, Quick was watching the front window, and I was watching this side window by the by a box location. And, you know, we were good, you know? I don't know where Linjo was going, maybe he was trying to pack a punch, but, you know, it, get, it gets out of hand, you know? And remember, you're dealing with eight people's worth of zombies. You know how much carnage that is? I actually tried to attempt, but there's no point of showing you guys. So, I was trying to do eight of my friends, well, me and seven of my friends, and we got to around 26 on Burrow, and people fell asleep, and people left. So I had to end the game. 
I was just trying to get to 30 just for fun because I've never seen high rounds on grief even though that's not the point of grief. But if you're trying to have fun and you have a shitload of friends online and you want to play zombies, you, you know, you fucking use Skype like me. So you can talk to everyone and communicate and you'll be on your fucking way to victory. And it doesn't matter what team loses and wins because that's not the point. The point is you gotta get to a high round. So, I don't even think I had the pistol. But, um, I mean, I'm not saying Sally. Because they were fucking camping up there like dicks and that shit got me aggravated. But Eros has the ray gun so, you know, I'm here reviving quick. Also has the ray gun. And... Lindroy also has the ray gun, so three of them have ray guns, and I don't fucking have shit, except Uzi. But, um, yeah, Uzi's a fucking badass weapon, I wish it was in other, um, maps, but it's not. As you see, these guys are acting like dicks. So, there's really nothing we can do, you know. This, you know, look at all those points for nothing. I don't know, but whatever. You know, we ended up winning the game, and that's all that matters. So, I guess we could kind of let the rest of the video progress. No point in me talking, really, for another five minutes, five, six minutes. There's no fucking point. So, this commentary, and then eventually the video is coming to an end. So, this is Joey Jr. 93, a.k.a. you know it already. I hope you guys liked the video and the commentary. And, hopefully, I try to get more exciting. It's just because it's at night. And, you know, I have people sleeping, so I can't really scream. <laughs> so, you know, that can't really happen. But on the weekends, you know, I'm pretty much hyper. Because I, you know, drink my uh, daily Red Bulls for the weekend. And, you know, that's that's how I, that's how I fucking roll. So, one more time, this video and commentary technically is coming to an end. So this is Joey Jr. 93, aka you know it already. I hope you guys liked the video in the commentary and show off. And stay tuned for more carnage and turn off fucking resurrection. I see I still have the pistol. And why the fuck is there a fire sale on a fucking map that only has two box locations? The cafeteria, which is another good spot to camp, even though Warden's office is more safe, and the warden's office. Can, can someone tell me can someone fucking tell me that? I guess to troll? And, and one more thing. Do not open doors. Just let the opponents open it. Trust me. If it gets out of hand and you have no choice, then you'll do it. And activate traps. Please activate traps when there are people in your way. Don't be like me. Get cocky and don't. You have to if you want these, these motherfuckers to go down. That's all I gotta say. And if you win that game, I don't mean that to you guys. I just mean in general. So, alright. One more fucking time. This video and commentary is coming to an end. So this is Joey Jr. 93, a.k.a. you know it already. I hope you guys liked the video in the commentary and show off. And stay tuned for more carnage and turn on fucking resurrection. And please enjoy the rest of the video.